Good morning, Reptilians. Welcome and welcome back to the channel. I'm Elle and this is Elle's Reptiles. If you follow me on Instagram or reach out Reptiles on Instagram, you know the story behind this thing. This was real unexpected to receive in the mail, but thank you so much to Garrett at Reach Out Reptiles. If you don't follow him, you definitely should because he does a bunch of really cool stuff with articulated pythons and stuff. Awesome channel and super genuinely nice guy. This week we're doing a video that you guys suggested a couple weeks ago. A lot of you guys wanted this video when I asked about it on the community tab and that's just some enrichment ideas for reptiles. Before we get started, this video is sponsored by the Doobie Dudes. Make sure to stay until the end of the video to find out how you can save 10% off of your entire order at the doobiedoo.com. Let's get started. The first one is balls for bearded dragons or ball pits for snakes. Although lots of other animals like dogs and cats and stuff love to play with balls, a lot of times it doesn't occur to us that our reptiles might enjoy those things too, and they do. Make sure that you're using things like wiffle balls or ball pit balls, things that are large and that they're not going to injure themselves on, or I would avoid using things like tennis balls so that the little fibers, they don't ingest the fibers. And of course, make sure that they're big enough that they're not going to to digest them and hurt themselves. But these can be super fun for things like bearded dragons or a lot of other lizards too. Honestly, you can try this with any of your lizards. But for those sorts of lizards, it can basically turn on their hunting instinct. It is bouncing, it is rolling, it is moving. They wanna chase it. Or for things like snakes, putting them in a ball pit is going to be them moving and there's balls moving around them. Snakes, of course, aren't gonna look as enthusiastic about it as something like a bearded dragon, but it is enrichment for them because it is something that they are not used to. It is a very different environment for that animal. Next up, we have food enrichment. Food enrichment is one that I think I've talked about in every video that I've done about enrichment because it is hands down the easiest form of enrichment for animals. Food enrichment is just feeding your animals different foods, whether you're feeding a bunch of different insects, different salads, different fruits and vegetables in their salads, feeding in different areas, maybe feeding outside of the tank instead of inside of the tank. Instead of putting worms in a bowl, maybe you tong feed the worms. Even with snakes, instead of just feeding brown rodents all the time, get a black and white one or change the color. Instead of just throwing the rodent in there, use tongs, make it move around, make them chase it. This is the easiest way to provide your animal enrichment because you're just changing up the routine of what you're already doing, which is feeding that animal. This next one is one that I actually saw on Instagram. I thought it was the coolest thing in the entire world, a snake pegboard. This is super easy to make or to buy. You're just grabbing a big piece of wood and sticking pegs in it and letting the snake go in between the pegs. This is going to provide different textures for them, provide climbing opportunities for them with all the different pegs. You don't have to worry about them toppling down and falling. They have a lot of things to hold on to. And it's just a super cool form of enrichment that I never thought about until I saw that post. A lot of people will use like cat trees for snakes to climb up. It's definitely another form of enrichment and that's gonna be a lot easier to find than a snake pegboard. Any kind of climbing situation is going to provide that snake with enrichment. Speaking of climbing opportunities, take your reptiles outside. Outside is an amazing form of enrichment if you can safely do it. Not everyone can safely take their reptiles outside and that is completely understandable. Having outdoor play pens, reptile strollers, a safe space for the animal is going to be super helpful. Or if you can, just taking the animal outside and letting them slither around, letting them climb branches, not up in the tree, branches that you put on the ground. Don't let your animal escape into the wild, please. That's gonna provide so much enrichment. You have the grass textures, you have wind, you have actual UVB light that is coming directly from the sun. You have the sounds, smells, and in my opinion, one of the best things that you can do for your reptiles. Onto another super easy one that anyone can do. Just change around their tank decor every now and then. Put different things in there. Put leaves in. Take leaves out. Put real or fake plants in there. Take them out. Move things around. This is not something that you should be doing every single day because that will get stressful. But every so often, if you just change things around in that tank, it is going to provide enrichment. If you do have bioactive tanks, this is made easier because plants are constantly growing or you're trimming plants. You also have a cleanup crew that's always walking around. It's going to, again, again, provide brain stimulation because something was there and now it's not, or something was here and now it's over here. The brain stimulation is there. Super easy to do this one. Next up, we have bath time. Some reptiles like taking baths and some don't, but 
providing bath time for them is an enriching experience. It is again, a completely different texture, a completely different environment, different surroundings. You now have water sounds. You have the feel of water. Sometimes they'll drink the water in the bathtub. This is a big change from them just sitting in their tank all the time. With some reptiles like snakes, they'll actually swim in the water if you put them in like a bathtub. Obviously you're not putting them in super deep water. Make sure that your animal always has access to a docking spot or that the water isn't up above their ankles. Of course, depending on which kind of animal we're talking about, make sure it is a safe environment. But giving them baths is going to be enriching. It's also going to clean them. If your animal is having a hard time using the bathroom, it also encourages them to use the bathroom. Other than just the enrichment, there are actually a lot of benefits to bath time for your reptiles. Next up, we have play pens. This is something I already kind of mentioned in the taking them outside, taking them outside with play pens, but you can also do play pens in your house. With this, you can either build your own play pen or you can get small animal play pens off of Amazon or at pet stores or wherever, like you're looking for guinea pig or bunny play pens. And you can just throw a bunch of stuff in there, throw sticks for them to climb, throw balls in there, throw toys in there. This is also made so much better because having play pens means that you know that your animal is confined in a safe area. Obviously this isn't going to be possible for everyone, especially if you have like cats in your house that can get into the play pen. But if it's an option, it's gonna be helpful for your animal. Stuffed animals and blankets. This is one that you will see a lot, especially in bearded dragons tanks. People love to give their bearded dragons stuffed animals and blankets. It is a texture that is not like the other textures in the tank. And a lot of times, especially bearded dragons, actually enjoy laying on those stuffed animals and blankets. They enjoy sleeping with those. It's cute for the animal. It is soft for them. They enjoy it. Definitely make sure if you are giving your reptile blankets or stuffed animals that you are regularly washing them, you are cleaning them. That way they're not collecting parasites. That way they're not getting pooped on or anything like that. Zaz usually has a blanket it in her tank and she enjoys it. Next up, we have one that I have not personally tested, but I know that some people do this and it's just laser pointers. Just like you would a cat, using a laser pointer can create that hunting instinct for lizards. This is not something that I'd personally suggest doing all of the time. You don't want to stress your animal out when they are constantly trying to catch this bug and they can't. However, it is something that you can do on occasion just to get them moving, to get them active, to stimulate that hunting response. I'm not sure if this will work on things like leopard geckos or crested geckos. I'm assuming it would, but I'm not really sure. I just know that some people use this for their bearded dragons and it's helpful. This is especially helpful too if you have a very lazy bearded dragon that doesn't want to get up and move. It's helpful just to help them to get more exercise. And the last one is just hanging out with them, just taking them out of the tank and hanging out with them. This is for any reptile, bearded dragons, snakes, leopard geckos, crested geckos, just take them out of the tank every now and then. You don't have to spend eight hours a day with your bearded dragon or your ball python, but taking them out for a few minutes is going to be stimulating for them. This also could be beneficial to the human because as we know, a lot of people will use reptiles as emotional support animals, so it can also make you happier. Just like all the things on this list, taking them out of the tank is going to provide them new textures and new sights and new smells, just new things. And that is all that we are aiming to do when providing our reptiles with enrichment. But that is all that I have for this list. Obviously there are thousands upon thousands of ways that you could provide enrichment to your reptiles. I was just trying to look for a couple of different ones than have been in my previous videos, but let me know down in the comments below what your favorite way to provide enrichment for your animals is. As I said at the beginning of this video, this video is sponsored by the Doobie Dude. The Doobie Dude is an awesome place to get Doobie Roaches for your reptiles. Just like we were just talking about with enrichment, Doobie Roaches can be thrown into the mix of the insects that you feed your reptile in order to provide food enrichment. You also can let them run after the roaches and hunt them for food enrichment. Doobie Roaches are awesome. They're super healthy. They live a lot longer than crickets do. They are my personal favorite feeder. If you can get Doobie Roaches, where you live, make sure to check out the doobiedoo.com and use code L to save 10% off of that order. Thank you so much to the Doobie Dude for continuing to partner with us here on Els Reptiles. As always, if you have not already, please feel free to follow me on my social and like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications every single time I put out a new video, which is every Sunday and some Wednesdays. I started posting shorts some Wednesdays. So super quick one minute videos on Wednesday. And if you have any specific questions that you want me to answer in those Wednesday shorts, let me know. 
this week's Instagram shout out is here and this week's subscriber shout out is here. Thank you guys both so much for liking and following and subscribing and sharing and all that jazz. You are the bee's knees. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye. It's like hair on my mouth the whole time. Mm. That's unfortunate. For fun for bearded dragons. It can kind of kick in their hunting for things like feeding them in different areas. Maybe instead of putting feeding them in different areas, maybe feeding outside of the tank instead feeding in different areas. Chase it. This is a like I said. This is hands down. Like I said, this with a bunch of toys. Super easy. Um. Obviously.